Cancer, welcome to your How Does Your Person Feel love reading. These will be general love readings, which means that they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. So you have the option of hitting that notification button and the subscribe button so that you never miss out on your message when it comes through. Um, if, you, if this isn't resonating and you need a personal reading for your particular circumstances, you can find all of the details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. Today, we are going to be looking at your person and how they feel, any action that they plan on taking in the immediate future, and also we'll get some guidance and advice cards for you guys. Um, I think that's kind of it, really. Let's get started for Cancer. All right, Cancer. How does Cancer's person feel about them? The person that Cancer is here for. How does Cancer's person currently feel about them? Okay, Cancer, I think they feel like at the moment you wouldn't accept any offers from them because you're kind of living the single life. You seem to be doing really well on your own. Um, I'll clarify this, King of Cups. Um, but I can't see them coming towards you with this page of pentacles in reverse it's like they're not wanting to offer you because they kind of feel like you you may even have someone else with this king of cups let's have a look at uh the page of pentacles please tell me about the page of pentacles in reverse why is it in reverse yeah see not wanting to not feeling like there's an opportunity to reconcile um one more please like that you, if they tried to reach out to you that they would get rejected with that page of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, that you've gone off and had a new start here, the full. It's like you would, you're like, I'm living my best life. So don't come at me. <laughs> they're watching you, I would say, because they're watching you be this. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Yeah, it's like you don't have any malice towards them and you're not trying to be, they can see that you're actually genuinely enjoying life at the moment and they can see that it's not fake, um, that you're not doing it to try and like show them how good you're doing. It's just they're naturally seeing how that you're kind of doing really well. Um, there is an element of feeling like this. there's not any new opportunity in this relationship like there's no seeds to plant with the empress in reverse this is about new newness rebirthing regenerating it's like they feel like they can't regenerate this because you you're kind of quite happy on your own or quite happy without them tell me about the king of cups please who is this king of cups i'm really getting different energy on this king of cups it's really quite weird um you might be involved with somebody else that's a water sign and they know that you won't juggle this because I'm kind of getting this as a separate energy. One more. Yeah, okay. It's like, yeah, cancer wouldn't do that. That's not how cancer behaves. Um, so they may think that you're already with someone or that you've got options and that you wouldn't juggle them with the other options because that's not, that's not in you. That's not your, that's not your vibe. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's see if they're going to take any action anyway, though. So any action that cancer's person intends on taking in the immediate future, any action that this person intends on taking with cancer in the immediate future. Can I just say, for a retrograde, there's a lot of people not taking action at the moment. I don't know whether people are just more aware and, you know, stop themselves from reaching out and go, oh, yeah, it's just retrograde season. Or <laughs> because it's like everyone's just holding back in all these readings. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my readings are all wrong. Um, but, yeah, the ones tonight, yeah, it's like I'd rather not get hurt again. The time's passed. Um, they're seeing things from a new perspective. They're seeing how things just might probably wouldn't work out. 
Um, he's looking directly at the Six of Wands in reverse. The Three of Cups, sorry, the Three of Swords in reverse. I don't want to get, yeah, I just want to hold on to, I want to hold these feelings to myself or these ideas to myself because I'd rather not, you know, go through the heartbreak that's been released, the forgiveness has happened um, and it's over. So I, I feel like they, they might be spying on you and they're seeing that you're doing really well. They're seeing that you may be seeing other people or that you're involved with someone else and they know that you're not, you're not someone that plays around. So, and that's what we're seeing with that chariot in reverse. Um, let's have a look at any advice or guidance, but why are you here then, Cancer, if that's the case? Are you having second thoughts is the question. Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear how this relates to you. All right. Advice and guidance for Cancer in this situation, please. Two of Pentacles. Okay, weighing up the pros and cons. So you need to weigh up the pros and cons because I think maybe this has come out because maybe you are seeing someone different and maybe you are kind of doing really well and you're self-sufficient and you're doing really in life. But if you're here and the question was, who is, what, like, uh, how does the person that cancer is here for feel? Well, why are you here for this person? Page of Pentacles. So your Page of Pentacles is in the upright. Theirs is in reverse. They think that you're going to reject them, but you're actually like, you know, good news. It says stop procrastinating and just do it. Take take the chance and make that offer um, if that's what you want to do. But weigh up the pros and cons first. Yeah, and uh, go within for clarity. This is all about lessons and making sure that you're using the lessons from the past because he's facing the past. Uh, into the future so you're reflecting you're taking your lessons from your past do that when you're weighing up your pros and your cons and then that's when you'll know what work to do you'll know research and education think about pros and cons think about researching in your mind reach back into the depths of your mind and have a think about well hang on what have I learned since this ended what did I learn while I was in the relationship what did I earn about learn about the ending of the relationship um, and then that will help with the pros and cons throughout, um, you know, this weighing up the pros and cons situation. All right, Cancer. It also points to not repeating past issues or past patterns as well. Um, I think that's what you're being cautioned about, not blindly repeating past patterns. Uh, if you feel like you need a personal reading, you can find all of the details, including how to reach me down in the description box below. This has gone really dark again. I don't know why it's gone this weird color, but that's all right. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. And I will hopefully be talking to you very soon, Cancer. Have a great week. Bye.